Hey everyone, Lazi here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. In the last episode, we got... What did we get? I totally forget. I think we got... Oh, we got the screw attack. And I think that was about it. And we beat Ridley. Wow, this is a really bad intro. Awesome. Okay, in this episode, hopefully we're going to... Head... Back to the statue where those two flames are um, lit and see what's beyond there in a section called Torian, I guess. Alright, so let's get out of here. I guess we'll save for good measure. Turn on the volume. Alright, so <clears throat> since the last time I recorded, I guess we'll have done it. Um, since the last time I recorded, I actually figured out a few. Um, little tips to um, sinking and stuff so hopefully um, I won't have sinking issues like I have been I'll actually be able to you know give a quality video but let's not count our chickens before they hatch as we start to lag I wonder if that's a new program I'm starting to use oh well we'll figure that out as we go Oh, stop attacking. That was awesome. Oh, that would be why. <laughs> As I was recording, something on my computer decided to pop up and be a jerk. Hopefully that was the only reason why it was lagging. Alright, so right here, super missile door. Oh, yeah, super missiles tend to knock things off they were hanging oh, right into that fireball that was awesome so oh. so the end of a random hallway more than likely we'll be getting a missile tank all these annoying little blocks um, if you shoot those um, shoot those um, things above the pipes um, it'll stop more from appearing for a while until it unfreezes obviously so obviously another fake lava pit come down here we have another corridor How in the hell are you supposed to get that? Oh, I know how. Well, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> yep, that was gonna work. Yep, that's not gonna work. Alright, I need to be I need it to be lower. Yep. I'm doing awesome right now. Alright, James. Really? Figure it out. Oh. We will get this. Yep. And there we don't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this. This is ho this is horrible. I've already wasted like four minutes of a video trying to get something I'm probably not gonna be able to get right now. That was awesome. <laughs> See, the screw attack is both a blessing and a curse. Oh, 
There we go. Okay, I guess I'll get it. Stupid jerk. Sorry, sorry, get, you stupid jerk. So obviously there's another um, missile tank. And um, now that you have the screw attack, these enemies are now, you can defeat. Totally forgot I had the screw attack, obviously, since, you know, I, I mentioned at the beginning, oh, what did we get? Um, I don't think there's anything else in this room. So, I'm just gonna head back. And now I'm gonna head up to Torian. Taking damage as I go. How many energy tanks do I have now? Is that nine? Duh, James. You have nine squares on top of your energy. I itched my nose. Yes, you did need to know that, by the way. Okay, I think that's the only corridor I didn't fi I visit. There's one more up there. Oh, okay. Well, that's on the way back, so we'll head back. Oh boy! I don't think screw attack. Oh wow, screw attack does take care of. Him. Okay, see, I told you this thing was awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so obviously can't go through that. So screw attack takes out normal um, blocks like that, obviously. Fucking screw attack is so amazing. Oh, that works. Alright, so 165 missiles. I don't think we have enough yet. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I think in part 6, um, I've pretty much given up um, trying to get all the um, upgrades right now. If I, if I notice one on the way, I'll grab it. Um, but more than likely right now, um, if I can get up here, um, more than likely right now, I'm just going to finish the game. Um, and if I miss any, I'll come back later. Um, and grab them because um, after you finish the game it tells you um, how many you're missing in each section I think it even tells you where they are so I figured if I'm missing any I'll just um, come back and tell you guys where they are so we haven't been in here so more than I what you know these these um Corridors that um, are off the beaten path usually just have like a, a missile tank or something at the end of them, so. Um, I think there's another one here. We'll find out, hold on. I have a funny feeling. There's something over there that I should know about. Because why would there... Okay, well, if there is something over there, I will find out later. I really just want to get down to Tori in, in this episode. <laughs> because I both hate and love that section of the game, so... Oh, and by the way, if um, you notice that my... um voice sounds less echoey, it's because I actually fixed the headset that I own. So now, the microphone is right next to my head, instead of attached to my laptop. And I will say as I'm recording this, I'm fucking starving. So obviously if you come back up here, there's screw tie blocks, so you don't have to worry about those guys anymore. Going up. Back to Brinstar. 
one last time and this music is awesome. I will say that Brent, Brent Star's music is just awesome. Now we don't take damage from acid anymore. Not fire though. No. See, that's the only thing about the screw attack that's annoying is that you actually have to be somersaulting in order for it to come on. So if you think you're gonna take something out with the screw attack and you don't, you're know, like, why didn't I do it? Right, let's see if I can remember how to get out of here. Like I said, takes that normal box into hot beat. So we're going up here. Topmost portion of this room. Might as well. Oh, 170 missiles now. I wonder if we have enough. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there are barely any, or if all at all, um, just no power up Centaurian, but I'm, I could be mistaken. Alright, so we go back to the statue now that both are activated. And what's this? Now, try to run, but nope. You have to jump. Alright, so... There's an elevator. We go down in a cutscene. And what would a Metroid game be without Metroid? <laughs> Those little soul-sucking bastards. Those are the only things that make this part, like, I hate this part. Like, yeah, I'm not really scared of it, but it's just like, it's a pain sometimes. So, that's a space pirate. Um, and it's dead. I think that's the one that we were just uh, watching. So, we go through this door. Uh, watch out for these beams. Um, you can freeze them. So this is this isn't ominous or anything. You know, space pirates dead everywhere. And a gray door. Oh, awesome! All right. So obviously, I'm gonna try and defeat the Metroids before trying to tell you how to do them. So those are Metroids. Um, they will, if they attach to you, um, take away your life. So you want to avoid that. Um, the only way to kill them are by missiles. Um, if they do attach to you by any chance, uh, you can have the, you can dislodge them um, by putting down a bomb. Um, you also have to freeze them before you can um, attack them, I believe. So they are they are vulnerable to ice. So uh, you should have the ice beam no matter what. So uh, mostly every room in this section is going to lock behind you. So oh. And there's another one. So, um, be wary of that. And there's another Metroid. I think it will take one super missile or five regular missiles to beat them. But you should have a whole bunch of missiles by this point in the game that you. Oop, it wouldn't matter. Um, there is one downfall to this area. There is no, ch there are no Chozo statues, so um, whatever you use, you're gonna have to replenish on your own. But I will show you a little tip. Oop. Um, hello. I will. Sh oh, shit. I thought I had you. You son of a bitch. Yep. You do need to freeze them before you can do anything. Well, good. We learned something new, kitties. I will show you a little tip um, to replenish your stuff before you face the final boss, because yes, you are in the final area of the game. Alright, so bolt. Um, if you go down here. Oh, shit. I didn't want to go down here yet. Oh well, we'll take care of this first, I guess. There is a save point up there, but I'm not really worried about it. Shit. Fuck. 
Yeah, I'm probably going to be swearing a lot in this section. <laughs> um, pretty much in all these sections, you have to get rid of the Metroids before the door will open. Um, so you want to be quick about it as well. Um, and as you go further into Torian, um, more and more Metroids are going to appear in each room, so... Son of a bitch. So I haven't sworn, like, at all throughout this Let's Play. Like, I, I, I swore a couple of times, like, the first couple of episodes, but it's like... You're getting into that part of the game where it's like, really? Are you going to, like, amp up the difficulty that much? So, um... We'll go back up here. There is a save room. I'll come in here, I guess, and I'll save. One less room I'll have to do if I die, which... I'm using an emulator. I could use save states if I really wanted to. And I have eight full energy tanks, so I don't think I'm going to be dying anytime soon. So, um, as you notice, um, as you're going through, if you notice these little circle um, lasers coming off, if you um, take them out um, and defeat them, they give off power-ups, um, and that's the tip I was talking about. Was like, I'll get to it when we get to it. Um, oh yeah, this part. So, um, it looks like you can't do anything, but there's a bomb right there. Um, in this area, there's a whole bunch of fucking Metroids! Son of a bitch. Really? You want to take, you want to freeze as many as you can and take them out. Whew. So, as you can see, <laughs> um, I'm down to 70 missiles and I have 175, uh, 170. So, this area sucks. Um, you do want missiles for the, the last part of the game, though. So, this area right here, um, Metroid free, but there's a whole bunch of missile, um, lasers. So what you want to do is, if you're low on missiles and you feel like spamming, um, for missiles, you can. So, so what I think I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'm going to grind for missiles and stuff, because I do, I do recommend that you have a whole bunch um, for the last fight, um, because you will need them. You might not, so whatever, but, um, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna save here. Uh, we're coming up on 20 minutes anyway, so might as well just, uh, so we'll save that. So we'll come in here. So in this episode of Metroid Zero Mission, we got to Torian, um, beat a bunch of Metroids, and we're about ready to enter the final room of Planet Zebes. Um, so tune in next time and we'll see, uh, what that has for in store, in, in store for us. Um, take it easy guys.